Why did Stalin seek to transform the USSR economically, and how successful was he? We have two questions here, and they're both very important. The answers help you understand both the rise of the USSR to the status of a superpower and the sources of its ultimate collapse in 1991. They help you understand both the rise and the fall of the Soviet Union. So let's start with the first question. Why did Stalin seek to transform the USSR economically? We need to make one thing clear from the very start. All Soviet leaders agreed on the need to transform the USSR economically. They all wanted to build a communist society, and they all agreed that this would be impossible unless the Soviet Union came to be more advanced than the most advanced capitalist society was at the time. Indeed, this was what made them Bolsheviks. To understand this, you need a bit of background, and you need to understand the way that Marxists think. Back in the 19th century, the German philosopher Karl Marx developed a theory of history historical materialism. His theory postulated that the structure of the economy determined the structure of the political system. So, for example, he argued that the gradual development of capitalism in the 18th and 19th centuries created a new force, the bourgeoisie, a force that overcame the power of the feudal state, the power of the monarch and the aristocrats. He saw that the development of capitalism was bringing colossal economic development, the Industrial Revolution. But he believed that the internal logic of capitalism meant that the technology and wealth capitalism generated would necessarily be concentrated in the hands of a small group, exploiting the labor of an ever poorer working class. In time, the working class, he believed, would rise up against their exploiters and lead a proletarian revolution and create a communist society. Now, this is all a bit tricky, but all you need to remember is that Marx believed that communism emerged inevitably from the furthest development of capitalism. He assumed, on this basis, that communist revolution would occur in the states where capitalism was most developed, in Germany, or in Britain, for example. 